17 year old student, a victim known as Kwame Afusi Asari, stabbed to death. The Crown will call three witnesses. PC Lincolnshire, who is called to the scene, and he deals with the arrest. <laughs> say anything that it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you may later rely on in court. Anything that you do say may be given as evidence. Do you understand? The second witness we will call is an eyewitness, the taxi driver, Mr White. He drives the defendant, defendant to the near scene of the crime. Do you recall uh, what uh, the first male was wearing? Um, the first one had an, a black jacket and a white pants. Okay. And um, what about the other? I think they ended up on full black. All right. Our final witness, a pathologist, will give her findings on the cause and extent of the injuries caused by me. Turning to the items, um, you gave evidence that you were given a 12-inch kitchen knife, correct? A 7-inch kitchen knife and a Phillips head screwdriver, correct? Now, it's right that your examination um, didn't have any forensic elements to it, did it? Um, in terms of? DNA. Fingerprints and DNA. So you cannot assist um, the jury, can you, as to who may have handled those items? That's correct. I don't know what size it was, I don't know what it was, but all I know is someone put a stranger purchased a knife for X. Two knives? I, I didn't look at it. You say in your statement knives, Mr. Adi Bada. Alright, two knives, five knives, one knife. But my point is, I just say knives, that's what I'm trying to say to you. I don't know how many it was, all I know, a stranger went into a shop, bought the knife or knife, and wasn't involved. All I know, that happened and then we got in the cab.